Did you know that with modern observability, you can actually monitor your full end-to-end -end business processes. Everything from selling something to your customers on the website until they pay, until this product gets shipped, until it gets received and maybe even shipped back because somebody was complaining about it. I sat down with Klaus Enzenhofer, who showed me how Dynatrace can be used to do end-to-end -end business process monitoring and connect it with uh, your IT observability because some of these business processes may fail because of technical reasons. To learn more, check out the video. That Welcome everyone to another observability lab. Today we are putting again a spotlight on business analytics. We've been talking about business events over the last couple of years already because Dynatrace or as Dynatrace we've evolved quite a bit and I couldn't think of anybody better than Klaus Enzenhofer to give us an update on what's happening around business analytics, business flow apps, what can now our customers do to really use Dynatrace to analyze their end-to-end -end business processes. Yeah, uh, we have done a major upgrade of our business flow app. That's why we are here today. I want to show you what from a user experience has changed. But before we dive into the changes and what's the new business flow app all about, why do you want to actually install the app? Because it allows you to bring business processes into your Dynatrace environment. Mm -hmm. Why is that so critical? Because your systems today are supporting business processes. Mm -hmm. And if they are down, you are going to have troubles with your line of business audience. And this is the way where we want to really embrace the line of business audience in Dynatrace and give them visibility that they try to get for years, very simple, very quickly. This is why we have the BizFlow app. So it's a very unique opportunity to connect business and IT. Klaus, these are the things that you've been talking about for so many years. We are in a unique position because we have the technical data but we also now have the business data end to end. And not context uh, less uh, business data, but really uh, always in IT context and in process context. So when you go to Hub, search for business analytics or business flow, uh, you will get to this page here, allowing you to see what's, uh, what it is all about, getting here some technical info about what you have to uh, do in order to get your permissions set up correctly. And then you can just uh, install the app. In my case, the app is obviously already installed and already prepared with a nice example here. So we have here a delivery flow that is uh, representing everything that happens after somebody ordered something on the website. Mm -hmm. So really from the conversion of the payment, all the way to package parcel sent to carrier to the diff different delivery flows that we have here. And as you can see, these processes can become very, very complex. And what we have done now is really change the way how you interact with the app. First of all, you can basically do very quick sum analysis. Let's uh, go to this customer clearance step here. And as I click it, you see like it's starting to filter down which process, which IDs here mm -hmm. are that are representing a single process are actually uh, hitting this stage. But we allow you to filter, filter down and say like, hey, which ones actually, if I deselect all and just say like, hey, those mm -hmm. with the business exception, those are the ones that I'm interested in. And I want to see like what happened. Mm -hmm. I can click here and get for an each individual step, what was going on. So from the conversion all the way to customer clearance, obviously this one went to uh, uh, to the uh, state government mm -hmm. and you're seeing additional information. Okay, it seems to have to do with uh, Denmark. You have here additional insights along the way where business can come in and understand what the potential problem is beyond an IT problem mm -hmm. that Dynatrace detects for you automatically. So like in this case, if somebody calls me and say, where's my package, then uh, looking at this business process, I can see it's currently held up in customs because the Danish folks or the Danish police is not letting it in. Amazing. That's it. And the very cool thing is I spoke about the interactions that we changed. We have, because we've been asked for to spend more uh, room for the visualization of the analytics part. Also, making it easier to change between processes because 
guess what? People mm -hmm. have more than one, uh, one process. Uh, and the second thing is with the setup. Some config changes are now really easy to do and uh, are going to be validated. Let me show you. So if I add here, for example, another step here that maybe I know is iterating. So mm -hmm. you have here a loop in this step. You just click on it. And if I define now with the biz event what the step actually should be, and I go now for this carbon data because I know that this has nothing to do with my business process for mm -hmm. sure. I put it in here and it tells me when I try to save it, it does a validation. Mm -hmm. And in a second, uh, we'll get here when the validation is done, the error message mm -hmm. saying like, hey, in all occurrences of this particular step, of this particular event, we never have seen this correlation ID that allows us to, uh, to connect to the rest of the process. Mm -hmm. So you cannot save it. Mm -hmm question then is, is there maybe another uh, ID? So I can even switch within the process from one ID to another one because ah, it nice. can, can be the case that, yeah, sometimes you need the account ID to connect. Sometimes you need the order ID to connect uh, the steps. That's all possible these days now. Really cool. And also, it reminds me on the left, the editor, uh, like the one we use in our workflow. So folks, if you're already using and familiar with the Dynatrace uh, UI and have built workflows before, it should be fairly easy to create a business workflow. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, fantastic. Yeah. Klaus, um, a lot of cool things. So <laughs> you've showed us how to download, uh, install the app. Um, obviously, the, um, the basis of all of this is business event. We've done sessions before uh, on uh, business event ingestion because there's different ways to ingest it. And I assume there's more to come because there's always more to come when I look at you. Absolutely. And I'm looking forward to recording a couple of more sessions with you the next month and also my colleague Alistair is joining us on that. Perfect. Folks, uh, with this, we are saying goodbye today from our recording studio. Install the app, stay tuned and bye.